day 60. Dun, 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 dun. We've survived two months out in the woods. Look at that. We're not dead yet. Huh? They're having like my 23rd cup of coffee because I have been up for many, many hours. I got a few videos uploaded, the few that I could make because I'm all caught up. Well, not all caught up, but I'm all caught up. Uh, it hasn't started raining yet. We had pitter-patter last night on and off. I was under a tin roof. It was really nice. Uh, I woke up with uh, somebody hammocking right next to me. Really cool guy, but he did not wake me up at all again. Like, and there's gravel below us. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I'm pretty sure I woke everybody else up in the morning. But and when you sleep next to the night crawler, you know, they stay up late. I wake up early. It all pans out in the end. They can't be like, man, you woke me up. I'm like, hey, you kept me up. They don't know they didn't. You know, because I sleep like the dead. Actually, they probably can't because I'm just not moving. I set my hammock a swinging. Oh, it was really nice. And I was out before that thing stopped. I didn't think I would be. Uh, I just I didn't feel that sleepy, but yeah, out before it stopped moving, that is fucking golden. Hammocks are such good sleep. Uh, more than likely staying another day. 12's coming in today. I still, I mean, I'm at the food city right now, but I only came here to get breakfast and stuff. I'll be coming back later. I, I'm, I'm more prone. I want to hit a Walmart. That's what I need. This place doesn't sell shoes. And I, I really do not want to leave this town without shoes. Because the next town, I think, only has outfitters, so I'd be stuck buying expensive shoes. But I know I, I need them. But that's another 120 miles or something. I need them now. I'm just waiting for the shuttle to take me back, and then um, you know, play around on the the YouTube's for a little bit more, make a few thumbnails and shit, and release these to Patreon. And those guys will be all caught up. No, 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 no. I guess I just hang out. Eh. La la. That's what I'm doing today. Oh yeah, it's definitely raining. So we're not going to be staying here again tonight. There's a guy named Kula that has a room that he wants to split with a few people. So we're going to go split it with him. Uh, we were trying to get a private room here, but they were all taken. I put my name in first thing in the morning and never got one. So Off to the Motel 6. The Motel Hotel. The all Holiday Inn. Say what? But better than hiking in the rain, man. I'm fair weather. So I have sentimental attachment to my trekking poles, but evidently not enough because I'm leaving them behind. The broken one and the good one. Ooh, that's, that's a lot. Well, and the one I found in Hiker Box. Because there was a brand new set of Leckies just right there. And now I'm just hanging on to them because I was like, maybe somebody just set them here, but this is the Hiker Box. So to put your poles there, but then your pack seems kind of weird. So, you know, I got them. If somebody else is like, hey, those are mine. I accidentally set them in the hiker area. They can have them back, but nobody's saying anything. So I'm taking them and leaving mine here. Because they're good poles. And they're still leckies. We know I love a lecky. And check these bad boys out. These things are like brand new. Brand spanking new. Good hiker box find. Okay, they didn't have my same ones. I mean, they're the same brand and everything, but yellow, I don't think that's any different. They got the wide with the genuine leather. Yeah. But hell, 700 miles out of these ones, 700 plus. Let's see what these ones can do. Day 61, good morning. Walking my happy ass through town, just gonna go buy me some McDonald's breakfast. I already had one at the hotel, but you know, they just have bagels and such. Going to be getting out today, not planning on doing too many miles, you know how it is, getting out of town and whatnot. It's a long uphill out of here too, so I'm just always happy to get out of town and do a few miles. Going to try to do slightly lower mileage days, just so that trail days lines up, and hopefully I don't have to do any hitching back. But we'll see how that all goes. My trail days isn't for like 12 days or 13 days, something like that. It's a couple of weeks, almost. And I got like 150 miles to make in that time, so I don't have to slack hard. Well, it's slack a little bit so I don't have to hitch backwards to go to trail days. And then hitch forward after trail days. Because I imagine after trail days, everybody's scattering like a bunch of ants. And everybody's going to be sucking up all the rides and everybody needs to get everywhere. It sounds like pandemonium. So I'd rather not. I'd rather walk in for it. And if I feel like walking out, I can walk out. Or if I feel like staying, I can stay. I got options. I like options. We'll figure that out. Ah, oh, Miss Janet has arrived. Oh, 
There's a hiker feed going down. <laughs> Thanks, 12. Um, there's a hiker feed going on down at Johnny's. We're going to go hang out there for a while. Let's go me a little trail magic. There's a dude that's coming through. He's headed up the way and waiting for us in another 10 miles, but I doubt I'll make it 10 miles. <clears throat> There is a church feed going on across the bridge and to the right, which is where I'm headed. Slowly. I have too much food on my back again. I'm only going like two or three days, but I probably have five days on my back. Just I forgot what I had in my bag when I went to go shopping. I had more than I thought I did. So I guess I'll just have to eat more. A little bit of a walk down the side road. I didn't even know this was all here. Am I supposed to be? Oh, I see a bunch of people sitting in chairs off to the right through the woods over here. I'm willing to bet that's us. Go, Ruby! I'm not even hungry, but it's free food, hang out hikers. I'll cram a couple pieces of pizza in me. This is a whole event. They got a pizza wagon. They've got all, know, all sorts of stuff. I went for a huge plate of spaghetti. I'm almost done with it. I think I might go back for a little more. I already had two slices of pizza, some cake. Look at all this. This is a beautiful production. I don't even know what's going on over here. But it started raining a little bit. So we're all over covering our packs right now. So I got to go throw a pack cover on it. It's only prudent. I don't think it's going to storm or anything. I think it's just going to sprinkle. But... I would be remiss if I did not take advantage of this time to go cover my pack. This is Dog. She does not like the rain. Look at her face and hunts. Dog is a really good dog. And we're off. Oh, it feels weird to say that late in the day. But just left the social function. Oh, we got hikers coming the other way. Oh, hey, these are the people that I ran into. I got down in my underwear the other day. She always wears a bug net. It is a very sticky day out here. Lord knows if it's going to rain again. Not sure how far I'm walking, but we're around water the whole way. There's just water drops all over the map. So if I go wander until I find a spot... And even if it has water or not, I can get some. Depending on how good the spot is, I'm going to do a little round trip. I got too much food on my back. I'd like to eat some of that. <clears throat> and just getting out of town is the goal on town days. I don't need to make big miles. It would behoove me not to. I'm in the middle of a pretty big bubble of hikers right now. I don't know how big the bubble is, but I'm running the same peeps over and over as one should. We're all keeping pace. A lot of them didn't even notice I shaved. A lot of them still did. I like the way it looks in another week or two when I got that thick 5 o'clock shadow, but a little bit more look. But that takes work too, to maintain. So, you know, I just let it grow scraggly. Because it's just easier. Still looks cool. Whoa, almost went down again. My shoes are a little loose. They feel weird. But they're new. A whole lot of gravity inside these Walmart shoes just trying to pull me down, man. Built by Daniel Sprinkle. <laughs> Good old Daniel Sprinkle.
that's a little stream crossing today. Probably gone about four miles already. It's been pretty mellow. It's about to get a bit steep. But only for a couple miles. As per usual. Just glad it's not dumping rain on me right now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I keep almost coming close. My shoes aren't fitting quite right like they used to. I'll adjust. So will they. This is deep. Go work out. Digging my new poles. They're working excellent. Looks like the top fits right up there. We got this. No brakes needed. Push. Oh, nice. I did get my hair cut the other day, so it's a little better. But the pitter pad of rain has uh, had me set up. I'm going to stay at the shelter. I'm dry. I got everything set up as it started raining. Good flat spot here. One up the way for 12. So I'm waiting for it to die down a little bit before I walk back to the shelter. But, you know, it's nice and warm. I'm obviously, you know, half naked. But the water's cold coming from the sky, and I don't want it to touch my delicate flesh. I'll be honest. You give it a minute to do its thing, it's, it's on and off, it's waves. Go cook my stuff and pass the hell out. I'm not hungry, but I have way too much food on my back, and I'm sure as soon as I start eating, I'll feel hungry, but, you know, it's not a bad problem to have. Yeah, it won't last that long. We got Napa. He's been trying to build a fire for like 20 minutes. It's, the wood is all wet. It's been raining pretty good. Here's Camp Crawler. Got it all set up all nice between these trees. I got to filter a little more water. I just made some cocoa and stuff. Oh, just hang out. There's a bunch of hikers here in good times. The weather has changed and it is really nice out. Oh, we watch this guy suffer. I mean, he's, he's getting it, right? but it's wet wood so it's not it's just not staying so he's just got to keep fanning it the whole time but I hear this is what he does he builds a fire every damn night and I appreciate that I've gotten too lazy I used to be that guy for a little while but it's just too much work thanks Napa hmm. leisurely day Napa was finally able to get the fire going but not really for long wet wood. Constant maintenance. Uh, I'm going to sleep in tomorrow. Plan on heading out around 6 or so. Just try to do low average mile days. Keep up the 15s or so. Ish. Just to keep in shape and stuff and set it on time for getting the trail days. Mm. So yeah, no hurry. So I'm just lounging in my tent. It's like no, maybe 7 o'clock, so it's about the time I go to bed anyway. Avoided the storm. Today was a good day. Okay, see you in the morning. Good night. We are not off yet. This is day 62. I'm trying to find a place to poo, because Tennessee does not do privies. They're just like, just shit all over our state. We don't care. We're used to it. But it is the kind of annoying thing about not having a privy. Not just for my pooing, but everybody else just poos everywhere. So you gotta be careful. Tennessee is just gonna be covered in crap. That's how it goes. Luckily, you're not here that long. Yeah, 
Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna find a great place to poo. I'm just gonna bushwhack, I guess. But anywhere that I go that feels safe. I know somebody else is already shat. Whew, okay, I feel much better. All right, so I gotta pack up my camp a little bit. I got most of it packed up. Coffee and oats in my belly. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, we still have lots of up to do today. It's definitely overcast. Possibility of rain for the next, I don't know, week or so. But I guess Tennessee needs to rain constantly to flush out the amount of poo that we're going to poo all over the place. I'm, I'm rather annoyed with their non pervy system, as you can tell. Just makes campsites dangerous, man. There's little bombs all over the place behind the shelter. You can see where people have been shitting. You know, you got your middle of the night dang, danger shit that comes up out of nowhere. So they just go behind the shelter. There's a pile of toilet paper stuff. I'm sure most of it is girl pee, but I'm sure some of it is also shit. And that's all because Tennessee is too lazy to dig a hole. That's what it all boils down to. Dig a hole. Sure, somebody has to maintain it, but somebody has to maintain shit anyway. Stop being lazy and disgusting, Tennessee. I know you really want to live in the 1800s, but it's not that anymore, man. Get with the times. And we're off. Okay, it's way late in the day. It's like 6.30. I was planning on getting out around 6, but I, I took even longer than I thought it would. Well, there's an inconvenient poo and poo walk. See, like, there's a place to camp right in there, but I wouldn't trust it because people have been pooing in there. Because it's Tennessee. You poo where you will. I bet you Tennessee has more surface shits in it currently than any other state in, in the nation. I hey, uphill. Already out of breath. No agenda today, as per usual. But there's something called the beauty spot. Let's see how beautiful it is. What is this? Had I known this was up here, although there's nothing to hammock on. But it's nice to know there's something to camp on beyond there. Oh, yeah, there's tents down in there. Squish, squish. Groovy, I got some service. I keep forgetting to release videos to YouTube, but it's something I need to do every other day. If I schedule them, it takes them out of Patreon. So I'm trying not to do that early. But I forget out here. I forget what day of the week it is, what month it is. So I'm trying to remember every other day when every other day happens. Because is today the other day or is yesterday? I can't remember. So when I'm releasing things a little late in the day or day late, that's why. It's overcast, but I still see blue here and there. That's a great sign. And even if it does rain, it's not going to get freezing because it's pretty warm right now. Might get cold, but it's not going to get painfully cold. Hoping those days are mostly behind us. But, you know, Mother Nature does what Mother Nature will. Some of the rhododendrons have started to bloom. Freaking awesome. Look how velvety this is. Oh, why haven't they all started blooming now? I was asking to have a, a tunnel of these. Maybe, just maybe.
Meaning there's a road right up there. Wow, we even get a bridge for this. Let's see how deep this is. I'm guessing this has to be up for like horses or something, right? Somebody slid down that once upon a time. To their death. Death, death, death. I can see the humidity in the air. It is going to be a wet day. My shirt was still, I could still wring out sweat from my shirt yesterday, this morning. I like that I have past me to judge my progress with. Oh, and I see something of a natural color. There must be a human up here. Hold on. Yeah, I was burned at his campsite. Good campsite. Oh, more humans ahead of me. I see motion. But anyway, I like having past me to judge myself against now because I like when I finished. Everything happened really nice then. You know, I was, I was pretty pleased with everything. Uh, and I'd like to finish early October, so as long as I kind of keep pace with my former self, I feel like I'm doing well. And my former self was probably just hitting the trail out of Irwin right now. So I'm a little bit ahead of me. So I gotta take it easier. Oh, I recognize that guy. He's walking with kind of a limp right now. He's normally pretty fast, doesn't know have a walking stick out or anything. It just cruises by super quick wearing big old boots. Not even like hiking boots, like maybe engineer boots or something along those lines. The last time I saw him was a few weeks back, and then I saw him one more time in the last town just walking by the window. So I knew he was around. I kind of figured he'd be ahead, somewhere got ahead of me. You know, I took a few days off in Hot Springs, but didn't we all? But now I see him limping. Same with Raven. That dude lost a lot of weight and felt like he could run down the trails now because he lost like 40 or 50 pounds, which I, I could see that feeling. I've run down a trail or two. But I was like, dude, you should stop. You're going to fuck yourself up and nobody listens to you. And so now he's still in Irwin at Johnny's because he messed his feet up. This is how we learn. Pain is an awesome teacher. Even somebody as stubborn as me learns. I hear humans. Oh, there's a road right down there. Hmm, what could be going on? What day of the week is it? I don't know. My phone doesn't tell me that stuff while I'm recording. I can look at time, but I can't look at the day. I feel like today is a Tuesday. It feels Tuesday-y. I would not be expecting some trail magic down the road. Plus, I'm hearing from over here. The trail keeps continuing this way. It could cut back. You know, I don't know. But I better pee before I get there. That's just one thing. You, know, you, you sometimes spend a while at Trail Magic. And you don't want to have to dip out and pee in the middle of it. Because you know, it's generally in a big clearing of some sort. And when I pee, I pee for like a good 40 seconds. Man, it's a long time. You know what I'm doing over there. And I don't really have a problem with it. I do it several times a day. But I know other people are weirded up by a little bit of pee. Oh, more humans. Yeah, I was just hearing campers. Interesting informational kiosk. I have not seen this shape. Good place to pee. There's dogs down there. Well, maybe not. I'm going to go over here next to this tree. I got somebody coming behind me. Yeah. He had coffee. That was... Kind of a rare treat. He had a holier than thou attitude. He just did. Uberly religious. 
Yeah, a little too much. He had to sneak God into every sentence. Just felt pushy. But he did have banana bread. I love some banana bread. Little brownies. I had an apple too. I'm appreciative. But at the same time, I, I don't know. Definitely a holier than thou attitude. We all kind of split early just for that feeling. There were four of us. Call this the beauty spot. It's so beautiful. Wow. It's kind of nice. It's been sprinkling on and off all day. Weird enough, when it sprinkles, it's less humid. And since it's not cold and really windy, the sprinkles are actually kind of nice, as long as they stay sprinkles. Good old Daniel Sprinkles. Sounds like a weatherman's name. Bloom, bloom, they're not even close with this. Slackers. I gotta redo Tennessee one of these days when it's all in bloom. This place does have a lot of those. I believe they run dungeons, but I wouldn't actually know. I've never seen it. Officially, but it's what I've heard. I'm going with it. Wobbler. Ooh. Ooh, it's very still. Here's thick. Well, 
the temperature dropped in. Of course, some rain started falling. Yay. It's supposed to rain pretty hard for the next couple hours. And over the next, like, six days. It's just rain in the forecast. Freaking lame. Always dry for trail days. It rains every freaking year. Maybe this will be a dry year for a change. Uh, yeah, it's fucked the cold, wet rain, so we decided to throw up the, the tent, the tarp while we could, because it sucks, it's cold. It's only supposed to last an hour or two, so, yeah, I'm happy so I'm sitting here because it's my choice. The rain's not forcing me, I want to sit here. <laughs> okay, rode out the storm. Might be others coming, but it was just too cold for me to handle. <sighs> Temperatures dropped quick. So, I'm like, there's a nice flat spot right there. <laughs> but I'm taking it. Which is what I'm going to do anytime it starts raining heavy. Why well, keep walking, man? I stayed a good hour in there. Even uh, broke up my stove and made a fire. It completely warmed that thing up. It was nice in there. Hard to get out. But luckily, we're not in a hurry because trail days. <laughs> so purposely going slow. So I'm like, hell, let's just hang out here for an hour. Took a nap. Just headed to the next shelter. We'll assess from there. There's just like two or three hundred feet of uphill right now. The rest of it's a downhill over the next four miles or so to get to the shelter. I was like, I don't like going uphill in the rain. Glad I waited. This is actually quite beautiful. A little chilly. Quite beautiful. Such a good decision to ride that storm out. I'm glad I have a tarp I can just throw up. I think even if I do have a tent in the future, I might bring a small tarp just to stake down real quick in the storm. Don't get your stuff wet. Quick, easy peasy. I wish I would have done it before the water started falling down, but I didn't realize how cold it was going to be. Is it just the temperature just dropped right when the water started falling? It was one of those things you could kind of sense was coming. But I didn't have much evidence the wind wasn't blowing strong and everything. It just started getting a little darker, a little colder. We were smart enough to stop eating lunch and pack up. But we started walking again. And I was like, oh, this is cold and wet and I'm setting up. I heard people walking by. Good for them. I'm going to look into getting some rain pants. I would be a lot more comfortable walking if I wasn't getting wet. I've never actually tried rain pants now that I'm wearing actual pants. But nothing like frog dogs. I'm talking like, you know, real ones. Something decent. I'll spend a hundred bucks or something on some pants. That sounds worth it. Get some quality stuff. As per usual, when I hid from the storm, I did not have enough water, and what I had on me was flavored, so I couldn't use it for anything fun like coffee or cocoa. Now I'm almost out of water. I got a swallow or two left. A little less than a mile to water. But I'm thirsty. But look at this. Did you expect this? Oh, good job, Bob. You beat that rain. Punched it in its stupid face. So glad I hit from that storm. I was just not expecting the day to get so beautiful. I'm walking towards the shelter. It's like 4.20 or so. We've only done probably right about 12 miles today. 
I'm doing a filter while I walk. There's water at the shelter, but it said it was 100 yards off the way, and I was like, well, I just walked by water, so might as well walk it in. One of the shorter days than I was anticipating, but I kind of like getting wet and cold, man. Better weather hiking. Now that I have a tarp, I'm going to be doing that a lot more often. It's so much easier than setting up a tent in the rain. Just whoosh between two trees, quick and easy. If I find just one more stake, I can button this thing up completely while I'm down there. I'll find it. It'll come up eventually. <laughs> we all lose stakes on this trail, man. How many stakes are just laying around on this trail? Thousands. Uh, the weather turned really nice for a while. It's about to change, though. We can hear it coming over the way. Thunder has been threatening. There's a mountain or a hill between us and it, so I'm not really sure. But it's good times hanging out with the hikers. They've been bringing around the bong. Yeah, Doc Pop brought a bong. Who knew? Uh, so he's, he's been traveling it around. Nice. Oh, I remember the shelter from last time. Big memories of it. I'm comfortable here in my hammock. I have no plans for tomorrow as far as waking up early or anything. I'm going to let weather dictate it. You know, if there's the pitter-patter rain on my tent, I'm way less likely to get out of it. <laughs> yeah, let's see what comes my way. Here it comes. I have a feeling this is going to be a good one. I'm glad I'm safe in here. I didn't really get wet that much today. I can't complain. But the next few days are going to get cold. Man, down in the freezing again. And we're going up Rhone Mountain. Boo-hoo and stuff. Suck on my pacifier and wine them. Well, it is nice to go to sleep with a pitter patter brain now. I'll, I'll give it that. I'm going to sleep soundly. Good night.